Okay, we've got some calls coming in from around the country, around America, and sometimes, Amber, they come from around the world. So really what I want to do right now is talk about one thing, though, that I've been seeing in our Facebook groups that, uh, let's see if we can make some sense out of this. I saw a lady post uh, in one of our Facebook groups just the other day, and she said, um, my husband has been in limerence. Now, if you have been paying any attention to us and what we do at all for any length of time, you know that limerence is a word that we talk about that has to do with this intense very intense emotional connection to another person that's strongly emotional, somewhat overpowering. It has similarities to addiction, although limerence is not an addiction per se. It also has similarities to obsessive compulsive disorder, although it's not an obsessive compulsive disorder per se. And if you want to go onto our various web pages, or go to marriagehelperforexample.com, you can find a lot of information there or go to Spreaker, S-P-R-E-A-K, uh, S P R E A K E R dot com. And you can look for Marriage Radio or Marriage Helper, I should say, there. And you can find a lot about it. And so it's a kind of love, and I'm not going into a great deal of detail right now, but a kind of love. And so when people say, well, it's limerence, it's not love, we respond, well, actually, it is a kind of love. There are several different kinds of love, and this is one of them. Now, one thing about this one, it is relatively short lived. What that means is that it's going to go away. Uh, it's going to either turn into something else or end altogether. And so when I see somebody, Amber, saying something such as, well, maybe the limerence is going to and it's become real love. I understand that in social sciences, we don't talk about real love because real love or true love is basically whatever a person feels at the moment. Limerence is real. Therefore, limerence is a real love. So is passionate love. So is uh, empty love. There's actually a kind of love we can measure called empty love. It's a real love, too. And I think typically what people refer to when they ask that question is something like this. Is it possible that my spouse has moved from that more intense version that's called limerence that eventually is going to fade and turned into some other kind of love? Well, that can happen. It's not typical, but it can happen. But to say, well, maybe it's not limerence anymore. It's real love. I think it would be better if you try to avoid that kind of language. Because when you say real love, what you're programming your brain to think is, this is something now that's permanent, long lasting, gonna be there forever. And, and you start getting some uh, misconceptions probably, in all likelihood, about what that is and what it's gonna be in the future. And so just understand that emotions can change, but we never talk about, do we? Yeah. That you move from limerence to real love, because that can be misleading, you think? Absolutely. And I think I probably, um, initially when my husband and I were going through this, I think mm -hmm. I, I started thinking, okay, well, maybe what we had wasn't real. I mean, I, of course, I thought it was initially, but maybe this is who he's become and, and what he's attracted to now. But thankfully, I, you know, I learned otherwise, but it, it took a while. I mean, it's, mm -hmm. it's hard to accept, you know, your new situation. Yeah, it, it can be so very tough. 